Artist's impression of the Cunet Neutrino Telescope anchored to the seabed Cunet logo The Cubic Kilometer Neutrino Telescope, or Cunet, is a future European research infrastructure that will be located at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. It will host the next-generation neutrino telescope in the form of a water Cherenkov detector with an instrumented volume of several cubic kilometers distributed over three locations in the Mediterranean, Cunet FR. Cunet in Cunet GR. The Cunet project continues work done under the Antares, Nemo and Nestor neutrino telescope projects. Cunet will search for neutrinos from distant astrophysical sources like supernova remnants, gamma ray bursts, supernovae or colliding stars, and will be a powerful tool in the search for dark matter in the universe. Its prime objective is to detect neutrinos from sources in our galaxy. Arrays of thousands of optical sensor modules will detect the faint light in the deep sea from charged particles originating from collisions of the neutrinos and the water or rock in the vicinity of the detector. The research infrastructure will also house instrumentation for other sciences like marine biology, oceanography and geophysics for long-term and online monitoring of the deep-sea environment and the sea bottom at depth of several kilometers. Once fully completed, the Clinet research infrastructure will consist of several large subdetectors. At first, two of these, together forming the ARCA detector, will indeed form a telescope searching for distant neutrino sources. Another subdetector, baptized ORCA, will be optimized to measure the properties of the neutrino itself. In that sense, ORCA is a neutrino particle physics detector. Planet Digital Optical Module in the laboratory in the future and pending funding, the full neutrino telescope will contain on the order of 12,000 pressure-resistant glass spheres attached to about 600 strings. In the current phase of construction, the telescope will comprise 345 strings, 230 in the ARCA detector and 115 in the ORCA detector. The strings hold 18 sensor spheres each, anchored to the sea floor and supported by floats. Each sphere, called a digital optical module, is about 17 inches in diameter, contains 31 3-inch photomultiplier tubes with supporting electronics, and is connected to shore via a high-bandwidth optical network. Together, the ARCA and ORCA detector contain 6,210 DOMs. At the shore of each Kunet installation site, a farm of computers will perform the first data filter in the search for the signal of cosmic neutrinos. Prior to streaming the data to a central Kunet data center for storage and further analysis by the Kunet scientists. The Kunet at site, at a depth of 3,400 meters, hosts the ARCA detector, with more widely spaced DOMs optimized for detecting high-energy cosmic neutrinos in the TEV-PEV range. Its strings are 650 meters long, spaced 90 meters apart. The Kunet FR site, at a depth of 2,475 meters, hosts the ORCA detector, a more compact array with more closely spaced sensors optimized for atmospheric neutrinos in the JEV range. This will consist of 115 strings in a 20 meters triangular grid, with a 9 meters spacing between the DOMs and a string. Overall, the array is about 210 meters in diameter, and the strings are 200 meters long. The design of the Quinet Neutrino Telescope is very modular and construction can be phased in time. In 2012, the first phase of the implementation of the Quinet Research Facility has started with the construction of the seabed infrastructure at the Quinet FR and Quinet at sites. A prototype Quinet Digital Optical Module has been taking data successfully for more than a year as part of the Antares Telescope. The Quinet FR installation site close to the Antares Telescope is being prepared for the installation in 2019 of the first strings for the ORCA detector for neutrino particle physics. At the Cunet at site the first prototype Cunet string successfully took data for about a year. In 2016 and in 2017, the first full strings of the ARCA detector were installed. In 2018, the seabed cable network was shut down. Early 2019, a temporary fix revived the network and the first string. The cable network at the site is being redesigned for the installation of the two subdetectors of 115 string each for ARCA. In February 2020, the first phase of the ORCA detector was completed with the installation of the sixth string. Together, ARCA and ORCA form the second phase of construction of PNET. In addition, a project called SMO will provide PNET with acoustic detection, to help with the position monitoring of the strings in water. This technology is also currently being tested for a possible new way of observing neutrinos via acoustic waves. For the design of the neutrino detector, Kunet builds on the experience of three pilot projects in the Mediterranean Sea, the Antares detector, the Neutrino Mediterranean Observatory project and the Nestor project. 
the NEMO and Nestor projects both did research and development work for a neutrino telescope, but said telescopes were never built. Antares telescope was completed on May 30, 2008, and was the largest neutrino telescope in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, at Antarctica, the IceCube Neutrino Observatory is already operational. Together, IceCube and Planet will view the full sky and form a global neutrino observatory. Thanks for watching.